Hello, I'm Max with the Young Scientist Program. Last week, my friend Hari helped us to explore the atmosphere. But today, we're going past the final layer of the atmosphere and exploring outer space. Get ready for takeoff. T minus three, two, one, liftoff. Phew, now that we've successfully made it to outer space, we can begin to work on a model to describe how the Earth, Moon, and Sun move. First, I'll be taking this worksheet and coloring the Earth, Moon, and Sun, and then proceeding to cut out the patterns. The worksheet will be linked in the description of this video. Now connect the moon to the earth using a paper fastener on the square shape and then use another one to connect the earth to the sun on the circle shape. We're going to talk about two different types of movement, rotation and revolution. Revolution is the movement of something going around something else. For example, when the moon revolves around the earth or when the earth revolves around the sun. It takes the moon 27 to 29 days to revolve around the earth, and it takes the earth 365.25 days to revolve around the sun. That's why it's one whole year. Rotation on the other hand is the spinning of something about itself. The earth rotates around itself while it is also revolving around the sun. It takes 24 hours for the earth to make one full rotation, which is why we call it one day. When it rotates around itself, it creates day and night by changing which side faces the sun. Let's quickly take a look at the shining of a flashlight. As we move closer to the wall, the light is brighter, and as we move further away, it becomes dimmer. This is the same way the sun works. The sun is a star, just like the ones we see in the night sky. But because we are so close to the sun, it is way bigger and way brighter than anything else. There are many things we need to know about space. So much of it is unexplored. Our Earth is the perfect distance from the Sun to make it a habitable zone, also called a Goldilocks zone, not too close and not too far. If we ever want to find another habitable planet, it needs to be the perfect temperature for liquid water to exist. We need a breathable atmosphere and so much more. We take into account so many scientific factors like revolution and rotation and many other calculations to do space exploration. Katherine Johnson was a mathematician whose calculations were necessary to successfully plan the first space flights by crews. Without her knowledge and understanding of how planets and objects move, she wouldn't have been able to do so. Her feats earned her the Presidential Medal of Freedom ordered by President Barack Obama. There was even a movie made about her called Hidden Figures. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.